I have a problem. I have got to have a massive, massive wardrobe clear out. I've got a what actually has created a, a life of its own. We've got a clothes snake that's meandered and slithering its way through my landing and across my landing and almost, almost gonna be in this room. Will one bag contain the creature? We'll see. First up is a category I'm calling resort wear. You know, the stuff you buy when you're on holiday. You're not gonna wear it in the UK. You might wear it again when you go on holiday again. I might have worn this before several times on several iterations of holidays. I'm not gonna wear it again because, well, I haven't been abroad in that sort of sense for, what, four years because of various things that have been going on in the world, obviously. And if I do again, it's not gonna be wearing this lot. This lot that I've, you know, around the pool and that stuff that's sold and you think, when you're in that heat of the moment and you've had a few cocktails and you yeah oh that looks nice and then you get it back to your country and the rain and the cloud and you think i would just feel so stupid in this i mean i've got some things here that these are really this seems such a good idea like that you can wear it as trousers you can wear it as a dress you can turn it around and wear it as a top and i have worn it several holidays absolutely great loved it loved it to the extent another holiday i bought another three did i wear those no they can go into the bag for charity. Someone who does want to go to a resort and wear these one pieces that they can wear all week as a dress, trousers, shorts, top, can make perfect use of those. A scarf, lovely scarf actually. It's a really beautiful scarf. Um, I don't think it suits me. I think now I'm paler and older with my greying hair, I need brighter around my face. So I may well put that up on Vinted, though if you want to follow me in Vinted, yes, I'll give you my Vinted account. My next category is plaid. I just got fed up with plaid. It's not really a, a pattern that ever appealed to me that greatly. I was wearing it because it was on trend at one time. So I've got a red plaid shirt. I have got one in red and white. I've got lots of use out of these. Um, I've got one in yellow and black and one in brown and navy. They're filling up space. Look at that, that bundle them together. That is a drawer, isn't it? That's a small drawer. That's something I'm never going to wear again. So that can go to charity. My next one is sort of resort wear, but it's also QVC wear. Cami tops with a matching look chiffony floaty thing that goes over the top. You know, that would, that, the idea, I bought it thinking that would be good on holiday, but I never actually wore it on holiday. And although it's sheer and sheer is on trend this year, and yellow's on trend. I wonder if I could wear, adapt that and wear it belted over a t-shirt, taking advantage of the sheer trend. That's a possibility. It's not my colour though, is it? Well, I might hold on to this and try to do something different. It's also got florals on and florals on trend too. So there's quite a few, although it looks, looks yuck, doesn't it? <laughs> you know, I might be able to do something with it. So I might hold on to that. More QVC wear. And I have got a lot of use out of this. I bought this, it would have been, I don't know, <laughs> 10, 15 years ago, and, and I wore it, wore it a lot, but it's, it's a big cowl neck. It's quite a nice patterned sweater. It's just not me now, I'm not gonna wear that now. It's not, it's not right for me and my style. And I got two others, very similar, more evening-y, sort of shiny navy, which I wore quite a lot. It looks good tucked in and front tucked with jeans and so on. I wore the gray one more, I'd say, over the years. I think these, Two, the navy one and the grey one, I will put on to Vinted because they might suit someone else. So that's Vinted in the UK. Um, as I said, I'll give you my, my Vinted account. I'll link it down in the description box. But yeah, there's nothing wrong with them. They've like, I've had them a long time. I've worn them both quite a lot over the years. It's just not me now. But although they're sort of velour they haven't worn. There's no wearing of the material. Sticking with resort wear, this is a sarong to go around swimming costume. I've got others now that I would wear actually, rather than this. But it's, you know, when you're, you're away and you're, then you're gonna go in your swimming costume to, to, the, to a bar or to up to your room and you're walking through, through the resort, you know, something like that around your waist is a really good idea. So I have used it quite a bit, but it's, I've got others that I actually would use now. If you're enjoying this video, do give me a before we go any further, I do want to point out my scarf, and that is that I, I don't like it. <laughs> I like the scarf, I don't like how it's tied. I was doing an, in, an Instagram inspiration outfit, which will be in another video, and I've just ended up keeping it on. But 
The more I'm wearing the scarf, the more I don't like it styled like this. It's too contrived. I just want to mention that because, you know, I might get comments saying, oh, I don't like how you've done the scarf. It looks like a cravat. Yes, you're right. I think it looks like a cravat. And that doesn't suit me. Not my style whatsoever. Um, gosh, I use this a lot as well. This is a shirt I picked up, a blouse I picked up in a charity shop. It's actually gone yellow from chlorine. <laughs> so this is going to go in the um, recycling, materials recycling. But it's, um, I just used to pop this over the top of my swimming costume to walk to, you know, walk up to my room um, and have the sarong up as well. You know, that, that type of thing. But as I said, yeah, yellow from chlorine, that has got to go to recycling. Another top that I wore on holiday Actually, I wore this quite a lot on holiday, but it just wouldn't suit me now. I've got so much older. I think that's gone yellow from chlorine as well. So that's got to go to recycling. It's not, it's not going to... Yeah, it's just been taking up space in a drawer and I wouldn't reuse it. Right, how far are we with the snake? Let's see. I haven't even got to halfway down its body. I think I'm just on its neck if a snake's got a neck. Going through all those clothes has just made, made my eyes so dusty. They've been in a, a pile on the floor for a while. And that just attracts dust, doesn't it? Anyway, I have got a spray here from the MTHK, which I use for dry eyes, and it's worth talking to you about again. But this is not a sponsored video. This, I, this was gifted to me, but I want you to know about the product. But this product, you just close your lids. You have your eyelids closed. I don't have to use it again, because I just, I just can't help myself. It's lovely. Anyway, I've got eye makeup on, no, no issues with smudging and so on. MTHK is the company I got this from. The gentleman called Amar, plus three ophthalmic surgeon consultants from Moorfields Eye Hospital, set up MTHK fairly recently. Three products in the range, specifically zoned for eye comfort and dry eyes. And whether we are having dry eyes because of the menopause, because of years of accumulated eye makeup use, because of allergies, um, dry atmospheres. The products MTHK are selling are this spray, which I showed you just now. Just spray it on the lids, a little bit of a distance away from your eyes, your eyelids closed. And keep this in your bag because when you've got allergies or you're out and about and there's hay fever and there's pollen around or you're in an atmosphere that's dry, in the bag, just squirt in the ladies' room or at the table or outside or in the car. Very handy to keep, even keep one in the car. Then there's eye drops as well. A tip for using these eye drops. You do not need to have your eyes open and have that squeamish sensation of the eye, drop, the eye drops going into the eyes. Just lie down on the sofa or on your bed and drop the eye drops into the eyes with your eyelids closed. And the eye, the gravity will just actually just allow the drops to seep in under the lid and into your eyes if you stay there for a little while. There's also vitamins for healthy eyes. So as well as the spray, the drops, the vitamins, which come as little capsules like this that you swallow, there is a cloth for just dabbing down around the eyes after you put the drops in. Handy also to have in your handbag when you're taking a spray out with you. MTHK very kindly offered you a discount of 10% if you use the code Annemarie10 on yeah. checkout. This is a t-shirt that I won at a raffle in, on holiday. I liked it actually, it's white with some gold on it, it's got metallics. Um, it's really pretty, I thought. So, you know, that's why it's actually got a bit of, I don't know, nail varnish stain or something on it. So that's going to have to be recycling. It's just been wasting space in my house, isn't it? Wasting space, yet I'm never going to wear it. I can't wear it. It's got nail varnish on it or it's got this or that or chlorine or... These trousers are going to go to charity. These are the ones I mentioned in a video recently that I wore recently. They are too big, very much too big, that there is absolutely no point in me keeping them. And I'm not going to sell them on Vinted. I won't get a, enough for them. They're not unique enough. So they are going to charity. Right, I have a sweater here that has got, sh it's got three quarter sleeves and it's a nice chunky sweater, nice polo neck. I like the fair isle pattern on it, but with three quarter sleeves, when you're wearing something to keep yourself warm, I found the sleeves just a little bit silly because I'd want my arms totally covered and warm. So this is when, it, when the weather's cold, this is not something I really reach for. Charity for that, I believe, gaudy trousers. This was sort of like an interpretation of camo, but it's leaves, but it's actually really quite a loud. My mum would say loud. I think it's a loud print on the trousers and the trousers aren't a very modern shape either. So they're gonna go to charity. I don't reach for those at all. You've never seen me in them. 
I think this top has really possibly been in a declutter video before and it never got as far as being decluttered and it ended up being a part of the one of the scales of the snake. Funnel, funnel sleeves, short, too short for me. Yeah, jumper, charity. A scarf, too chunky. This one is just too chunky. Well, I'll put it around me. No, it'll just stay with the microphone. But Nice and warm and snug, but I've got other nice and warm and snug scars that aren't quite as chunky. And this just, it, it's the, the size of it. Look, I'll fold it up and you can see the size of it. You can, you'll be able to see that on me, it's gonna be. And that in itself is almost, is about half a small drawer, isn't it? So you can see around my neck, that is gonna be, that, that's just too full charity. Now the dress from H&M, look at the, it's got the label in it still there. And I bought this six years ago or so, and I have never worn it. And the reason why, is it's such a thin material. It's that, all the way through it's that. There's no lining. It, it is just not practical because it's not gonna keep me warm. And this artificial material won't keep me warm in the winter. It's too hot for the summer. So it's never anything that I'm reaching for. So that, that on the other hand, it's not a thick look, but you can see how thin it is, you see? They're a tiny, tiny little dress. And that's the, just the thinness of it. So it's just the impracticality of the material. We might be halfway down the snake, almost. We might be. I have a cardigan, a long cardigan. You've seen this in videos. I've had it such a long time that it's just got really scruffy now. And so, I, in fact, actually, it's a photo of me in the in the green trousers of the leaf in and leaf print and this cardigan before from before I was. I think it was no very early on in YouTube. So I've actually got a YouTube video, very short YouTube video where I'm in these. And I've gone away for a weekend with a friend at a spa hotel. Uh, I'll link it here if, if that's the case. Anyway, I think then you can look at how young I was. Tutty is going to go to um, recycling. Likewise, there's a pair of yoga pants that I must have had these 20 years, I think. 20 years, loved them from Marks and Spencers. The right length for me, the right shape, the elastic's gone. So why is it in the house using up space? It's got to go to recycling. Now there's a couple of hats I'm going to get rid of. This one, it's lovely and warm. Look, it's got a fleece lining. It's really gorgeous and warm. I just think that a bobble is not really very me, is it? It's just not, it's not what a woman of 60 wears, a bobble. So that's going to go to charity. And I've got another hat. This is uh, Dennis Basso from QVC. Should I keep that? I might keep that actually. The, the shape suits me, doesn't it? I haven't worn it for so long. Yes, I'll keep it. Yeah, I look better in the hat than I do without it, so it definitely suits me. Primark t-shirt says Brooklyn. Wore it an awful lot. It's just a little bit small and tight for me now, so I would go for a looser shape. The, the logo, it, I mean, it's very, really, really old. It probably should go to the recycling rather than to charity because it is so old. I've wore it so much. Um, probably had it 10 years. That's not bad for a white t-shirt. Okay, a dress in an animal print. Pretty thrown out two dresses like in this style and kept my navy one, but I think that's not really, there's gonna be aging. It's what uh, many of you, the, how you describe, you, you, you say something's aging. That, that's what I'm saying about that, that's aging. Right, remember what I said about that blue dress that was so really, th really thin and a thin material as impractical. His blouse that I have worn quite a bit, Primark, it is, um, but again, it's that material that's either, it's not gonna keep you warm in the winter and it's not going to keep you cool in the summer. Artificial, artificial material, you know? Uh, so, other than that, nothing wrong with it. That is going to charity. A skirt from Marks and Spencers that a lot of you said just didn't work for me. It's big and bulky and thick and long. Long, there's not, nothing wrong with something long. It's the weight of the skirt, it's that curtain material that was around, when was that around? Six, seven years ago? Curtain skirts, very heavy material. So that will go to charity. A little t-shirt I bought with some sequins on it from H&M. I've worn it a few times, it's had its use, you know, little sequins with a sequin tiger on it. But I feel like now I've got a better sequin top for wear, to wear for an evening than something with a tiger on, so charity. A jacket from Kettlewell Colours in a caramel colour that I used to wear to work. And it's, um, it's a cardi jacket really, you know, it's, that ca it's a, a very casual material. And um, it's not for my life now, it's not. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's not for my life now. So that's going. John's gonna be so pleased that he can make his way along the landing without being wound around by a snake. Anyway, moving on, <laughs> still got a lot more. 
I said this was massive. Cardigan I try. I, I was going to be in a, um, a declutter video before or was and I kept it thinking I'll give it a go. An old cardigan that I used to wear to work. Long one. I did wear it last spring. I did give it a go. I quite liked it with navy and, and white. I don't like it enough to keep it in my house. It doesn't need to be in my house. That's going to charity. This is a top from Banana Republic that I had many, many years. I mean, I do keep my clothes. You know, I, okay, I'm, occasionally I might do shopping hauls, but I do keep my clothes. You know, it's not, it's not in, we'll wear, wear it a few times and back and out, you know. I, I, I invest. Even if it's cheap, it's still investing. Anyway, this was Banana Republic and um, I bought it while I was working. I bought it in Cheapside, Banana Republic in Cheapside. And I must have bought it 15 years ago. Got a lot of wear out of it. These puff sleeves have been in and out and in and out and in and out in the time I've held it. But now it's got a hole in it. Um, and it's just got tatty. It's just got, no. <laughs> so that's recycling. Another one for recycling, Gap. And I think I got this around cheap sideways as well. Gap t-shirt, just too big for me. Actually, there's nothing wrong with it. No, that could go to charity. It's just, it's just uh, too big. Shirt, blouse, blue, too tight, not my style. With great for work. Fitted shirts, you know, we're good for work. It's not what I wear now. And this is just a fitted casual shirt that I just don't need in my life. Nothing wrong with it. Charity. I've got to the age of hand-me-downs or hand-me-ups from my daughters. This was a scarf. One of them uh, just decided she didn't want the scarf anymore. I said, oh, here, you know, here you are, mum, you, you, you might want this. Actually, I don't think it suits me. So I'm, that's going to charity. A top in black. Now black, we agree, doesn't suit me. We all know that. And so though sometimes I wear black because it's useful, like a black jacket or a black pullover or a black blouse, something for casual, I don't need to wear black. So that can go to charity. Someone else can use that. Like the caramel jacket, I've got one in a, a dove grey. Well, masses, masses and masses and masses. I have no guilt about getting rid of this. In fact, actually, I think it might even be stained now. I think it's got stains on it, so that's going to have to go to recycling. Kettlewell colours, a blouse I used to wear to work quite a lot in a salmon-y colour. Not going to wear it now. I've, for my life now, I have got other things that I would wear. So I'm not going to reach for this. So it might as well go to charity. H&M blouse that I'm not going to wear now. I loved it. I loved it for many years. And it's been in um, capsule wardrobes. Top that I wore a lot while I've worked. This was, this was great for summer in, summer in the office with a navy skirt or a black skirt or cream, ivory, that kind of colour. Wore it for years and years and years in the office in the summer, but not really for me anymore. It's not, it's not my life now. A mustard top with embellishments around it and it's very cheap. Now it's a little bit, it's a little bit worn. So I'll be getting rid of that. Will it get in that bag? Yes, it will, but I can't lift it. John! Uh, beast of burden time, is it? Yes. Okay. Oh, job done. Job done.